it looked like a war zone. I mean, uh, there was just, uh, just demolition all over the place. We were always brought up and understood and explained to us that tornadoes would not hit on a lakeshore community, it would go inland. So the whole idea that it was a tornado was hard to, to first even fathom that that had happened. We hear a reported 12 seconds it took to rip through the town. You see the bricks and mortar and the vehicles upside down and the trees throughout the streets. And the devastation was, I think, much greater because it's a downtown core right through the center of the community and older residential area. You had very close connections with others that did suffer losses and there were people that suffered personal losses at their houses and others that suffered losses at both houses and at business. Collectively the mood was, well, we're going to move forward, we're going to work together and that, that mood started within minutes of the tornado happening. The planning master study was undertaken in the immediate aftermath of the tornado to establish a criteria for uh, redeveloping the downtown in particular, but also looking at many other facets of the uh, amenities and infrastructure around the town. To get the gas tax to help us fund the capacity of, of getting back to normal played a big part. The federal gas tax fund is uh, funds to municipalities for infrastructure. It's designed to improve environment, create jobs, and provide economic growth. Federal gas tax is transferred from the federal government to the Association of Municipalities of Ontario, and they distribute that based on a per capita basis. In other communities throughout the country and provinces, it's application based. The gas tax had provided funding for the master plan study in addition to a narrower focused study. The fact that it's, it's applied in that way so that the municipality knows what dollars it's going to get on an annual basis and then has the flexibility to apply it to its to its own needs as it sees fit, I think that's the, the best way to use those tax dollars from the standpoint of getting the best bang for the buck. It's a really, really well attended community-based consulting process. The majority of people wanted to see us take the park and try to tweak it and improve it and, and uh, recognize and, and capture the, the importance of the history of it but give some thought as to its future use and it, the future of the town so that it was well positioned for, for the next 50 years. The key points are recognizing the heritage character of the downtown core. And by reinforcing that, it will facilitate in attracting residents and businesses over time. And there's been a tremendous amount of investment to improve uh, both the commercial aspects of the building plus the residential areas but on the second floor. And then also in the residential areas of the community where there's a lot of devastation, there's been some beautiful homes that have been either restored or in some cases replaced and rebuilt. And so you see some really wonderful combinations of old and new architecture throughout those areas of the town now. The first phase, which you see about 80% completed in front of you, is the park itself in the middle. Uh, the second phase is a restructuring of the rest of the square on the store side. The purpose of the plan was to really turn the center of the town into a real people place. And now that there's trees and there's green, it sounds kind of quaint and kind of silly to say it, but it makes a huge difference just to your perspective looking out into the park and that's my park again. The idea of uh, reinforcing the livability of the, uh, the, the community and the viability of it is going to pay off in spades over time. For 18 months I had a pain in my stomach from what had happened in this town. We've come far enough that that pain's gone.